Hello, STEM Early College families. Today is Friday, September 25th, 2020. I am doing the very first STEM Early College State of Our School address. I believe that having this conversation is especially important right now because things are changing every day. And just like when school was about to open, I wanted to keep you abreast of the changes and the updates. So today we are going to talk through some pertinent issues that affect our school. We're going to um, uplift some students who have done some wonderful things and also congratulate our new student council members. So I look forward to this time with you and I hope that you get answers to many questions that you may have. And let's begin the first State of Our School Address. <music> today I'm going to review our 2020-2021 STEM Early College School theme. I will announce the new student council officers. I'm going to share some student highlights. Um, I'm going to give you some details about Royal Court and homecoming festivities. Um, there will be a little bit of information and some dates about the end of the quarter for freshmen and sophomores and upcoming academic dates and priorities for juniors and seniors. Um, I'm gonna talk about um, the Board of Education outcomes from the meeting on September 24, 2020 and how it affects our return to school. Also in the quarter student and parent survey that I believe is necessary for us to move forward. And finally, I will close with upcoming events that I hope to keep us all engaged. Stated, student voice is very important at STEM Early College to help us to deploy our theme of back to the future and to also build positive culture and climate. That is why it is my honor to announce the new student council officers. Congratulations, Secretary Darie Argawal. Congratulations, Treasurer Rewa Muhammad. Congratulations, Vice President Sienna Green. And finally, congratulations to the new 2020-21 President, Reem Ali. I look forward to working with you all. It's always our goal at Simmerley College to recognize students who are doing exceptional work. We would be remiss if we didn't take the opportunity to do so, particularly because our lives have changed in the remote learning environment. So at this time, I'm going to call out a few students that we would like to recognize. First, Gip Abema for showing consistent engagement with her peers in multicultural literature class. Danye Farahani for being a constant thinker in pre-calculus and always turning in her homework. Taylor Martin Jones consistently and intentionally works on her time management skills. Nicholas Brower is experiencing personal growth and transparency. He's learning to invest in himself and recognize the benefits of smart failure. Muzan Ibrahim is always trying to top her personal best, help others, and has, has great participation in class. Thank you students so much for giving your very best every day. We wanted to recognize that. And I must also say thank you teachers for all the hard work you're doing to make this a successful learning experience. So students, give your teachers a round of applause for being the best teachers in Guilford County Schools. take a moment to talk about Royal Court and North Carolina A&T homecoming. Things are a little bit different this year in that A&T has canceled homecoming festivities scheduled for Saturday, October 31st. However, STEM Early College will still have Royal Court this fall. If you are an interested freshman, sophomore, or junior, you should submit your name to Mrs. Noel by email by Friday, October 2nd. If you are a senior who wants to run for Miss STEM or Mr. STEM, 
You should also express your interest to Mrs. Noel by Friday, October 2nd. However, remember that you have to complete an interest packet and that has to be submitted no later than Wednesday, October 7th to be eligible to be on the ballot on Monday, October 12th, 2020. Seniors, you cannot begin campaigning until your interest packet has been submitted. So I urge you to get your interest packet submitted as quickly as possible once you've expressed your interest to Mrs. Noel by October 2nd. The Royal Court will engage in virtual recognition during Spirit Week or during North Carolina A&T Homecoming Week, which is scheduled for October 26th through the 30th, 2020. So we will recognize you to the student body and let you all know who the Royal Court members will be just the same as I announce the new student council members. So again, if you're interested in being in the Royal Court, Submit your name to Mrs. Noel by October 2nd so that you can start campaigning. So far in this address, we spent a good amount of time recognizing students and talking through the fun things about school. But now I wanna talk about grades, the end of quarter and midterms. So hang with me for a few minutes while I give you some important dates to remember as we close the end of quarter one. So to begin, parents, you should have heard by your teachers for a parent-teacher conference. Um, you may communicate with the teachers or they may communicate with you by email, by phone, but scheduled parent-teacher conferences should be complete by the end of the day on Monday, September 28th. So if you haven't heard from your teachers yet, look forward to a phone call or an email as they discuss your students' progress thus far. Can you believe we've been in school nearly seven weeks? Quarter one for freshmen and sophomores will end on Thursday, October 15th. So students, if there's stuff that you need to do to make up or to turn in, please finish strong. The quarter ends October 15th. And then Friday, October 16th is a teacher work day and there will be no class for students. Report cards are going to go home the week of October 23rd, 2020. Essentially, that gives the teachers time to um, evaluate your grades and get everything posted in PowerSchool. And then we will send home report cards again the week of October 23rd, 2020. For our dual enrolled students, midterms are going to be reported by midnight on October 16th, 2020. So that is Saturday, I'm sorry, Friday, October 16th, 2020. Um, and then the last day of classes for you will be November 24th, 2020. So after midterms, things are gonna move very, very quickly for you dual enrolled students. So if you need support or you're not satisfied with your midterm grades, please communicate with Ms. King Juniors, Mrs. Noel Sr. so we can get you the support you need to finish strong by November 24th, 2020. Um, you will have your final exams December 7th through 11th by take home or online. So juniors and seniors, November 24th is the last day. And then final exams, take home or online are December 7th through 11th. Now, I'm going to transition to talking about the reopening of schools. The Gilbert County Schools Board of Education met on Thursday, September 24th to make pertinent decisions about reopening schools. So, the decision was made for high school students to return to the buildings at the start of the second semester, which is January 20th, 2021, for schools on the traditional calendar. For us, that means that there may be a difference in dates with the start of magnet schools because we're on an early calendar. But for now, expect for your student to return to school on January 20th. 
Students will either attend Monday and Tuesday or on Thursday and Friday. This allows us to have only 50% capacity in the building at a time. Students will participate in remote learning on three days each week when they are home. Wednesday will be a remote learning day for all students to allow buildings to be deep cleaned. Deep cleaning will also happen on Fridays. So essentially, if you're in cohort A and you attend school on Monday and Tuesday, you will be home on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday engaged in remote learning. We will be working on scheduling for A, B day, and we'll get that information out to you in the coming weeks to determine which cohort will come to school on which days. To allow for social distancing on buses and to assess the need for transportation, we are asking all parents to fill out a transportation preference form by 5 p.m. on Thursday, October 1st, indicating whether or not you are in need of transportation. This form can be found on the website at gcsnc.com backslash reopening and on our school page. If you are able, please consider alternate ways to transport your student. Um, parents of bus riders will need to sign an attestation form daily, verifying that the child is healthy before he or she gets on the bus. We will also be maintaining social distancing in our buildings, which is the reason we are going two days a week per cohort. So some of our classes will be in alternate spaces, such as gyms or cafeterias. Students will be eating meals in their classrooms to minimize movement throughout the building. Um, all students will be required to wear masks while they're in the building unless eating or drinking or exercising strenuously. Um, so all students will have their temperatures checked and will answer a series of questions when they enter the building each day. We are deep cleaning buildings on Wednesdays and Friday evenings, as I stated earlier. All all visits will be limited to um, appointment only, and those who are allowed to enter the building will undergo the same check-in process of, as students with temperature checking and a series of questions. If you have additional questions, you can find out more information on the GCS website for reopening, which is www.gcsnc.com backslash reopening. I want to assure you that the faculty and staff at STEM Early College is going to do everything we can to ensure your students are safe, the facility is clean, and that we are upholding the social distancing guidelines. I will share an additional plan with you as time nears to reopen the building that will give you the exact details of how things will run throughout the school day. Thank you so much for your patience as we go through this transition from remote learning to in-person learning. We're going to do the very best we can to let, let your fears rest. So if you have any questions, you can go to the school website. You may also email me. So now that we know that students will be returning to school January 2021, STEM Early College is going to send out a student and parent survey very soon. Our goal is to ensure high quality teaching and learning. We believe that feedback is a gift and we will use it to grow. So we're going to issue these surveys toward the end of the quarter, so in the next couple of weeks, to collect pertinent data on our service during remote learning. The survey data will be used to inform decision making that promotes a successful student experience and positive learning environment. When you receive the survey by email, please take time to complete it. We will analyze the data and we will respond appropriately. <laughs> we've talked about all of the dragging details of school reopening, I want to end on a high note and talk about some of the upcoming events that we have to engage students to get to know each other and have a little bit of fun. 
So um, the first thing I would like for you to really take advantage of are the social emotional learning weekly activities hosted by Mrs. Noel. She has Move It Monday every Monday at 9 a.m. Get up, get moving, and get to class. Talk Tuesday is a lunch break where you just get together and socialize with some friends. I participated this week and we had a great time talking about horror movies, which I really don't like. I um, mean, we came up with a cool list. So check out her Twitter page to see what list we came up with during Talk Tuesday. Winning Wednesday is a great time to play some games and get to know more about the people who go to STEM early college. And I heard somebody even got a free lunch. Therapeutic Thursday is our downtime. It's at noon. Log on to, to Twitter and see Mrs. Noel talk you through mindfulness activities. You really need to do that to help you de-stress and stay focused on school. And then Freestyle Friday is at noon and it's just another fun break where you can get together with some friends and just laugh and talk about the week end um, and the success you've had during that week. So again, SEL weekly activities are really important and a lot of fun. So make sure you do that. We also have weekly college visits that are scheduled by Mrs. Noel. They're in the afternoons at four o'clock. Um, the information can be found on her weekly flyer. This is Hispanic Heritage Month and we're gonna have a movie viewing on Friday, October 9th, 2020. So you'll get more details about that in the next week. Also, we have a Ladies of STEM panel in collaboration with the Gamma Chapter of Alpha Omega Epsilon Professional Sorority for Women in STEM from North Carolina State University on October 23rd, 2020. I'm very excited about this opportunity for our young ladies to learn more about ladies in STEM and to also tear down those barriers of, that you may have about women in STEM. They need us. And then um, October 26th through the 30th is Spirit Week in North Carolina a and Homecoming. That is also the week that we will have our Royal Court celebration. You never know what can be in store for that celebration. So students, get involved, have some fun. We want to see your faces. We want you to be a part of our school culture. So thank you so much for engaging in those upcoming events. And I hope to see many of you Monday morning at 9 a.m. <laughs>